talk to this guy right there. Adog, quick. all has set out for Windseeker Heights. Okay, that's gotta be my next thing, man. Also, Windseeker Heights, where's that at? If you want to see her, you should probably wait until she gets back. I don't I have think time. even you would have a tough time with the monsters there. Where is that? Where's it located at, sir? Don't ever, don't ever disrespect me like that. I love a challenge. I bet you didn't even recognize me since I've grown into such a beautiful woman. We met where? Excuse me, miss. <laughs> you need to put some more clothes on. Have some respect. What? You're heading to the giant vortex of Kanan? You can't be serious! The vortex of Kanan. For ages, it swallowed countless ships heading to the west and brought fear to all seafarers like ourselves. What is his voice acting? However, legend holds that within its eye lies a treasure beyond imagination. Ugh, that's great. Who's the man? Mellow man. What is going on, people? We are here, people, with some more wise. Uh, <laughs> the Ark of the Pishtim. Playthrough Part 8. I believe this is Part 8, people. Without further ado, let us hop in. All right, and so people, last time we left off, we're gonna get right to it today. Last time we left off, um, we went through this uh, dungeon area. What happened? Let me. We went through this dungeon area and we fought. I can't even remember what uh, homegirl's name was. Uh, it's not really important. All that is important, people, is that at the end of the day, after we defeated her, we got our new weapon, uh, Erisil. Which is basically, I think of it as a lightning sword, or enchanted by the lightning spirit is what they call it, you know, whatever <laughs> definition they try to give it. So now we have our three main weapons, people, our uh, wind sword, fire sword, and lightning sword. Um, what else happened? We met up with, um, or we, I guess, crossed paths with, um, I can't remember bro's name, bro who we met in the very beginning of the game, who, uh came at us when we were actually in the same these same ruins and he challenged us to a battle I, I lost I got I got caught sleeping um, and so anyway um, yeah that was pretty much what happened last episode so where do we need to go right now um, oh we got another uh, fragment of the mirror too after we beat the enemy so we need to go to uh, what's her name and go give her this fragment so that's what we're gonna do we'll go give her another fragment And then later on, now that we have this sword, people, I can go ahead and progress um, through this door. So that's probably where we're going to go next. Um, also, all screen people, I leveled up. You guys will notice this sword. So now it's, uh, I believe, the same level as the other swords. Um, so it, I can use the super with it now. And um, I think it's got another little attack I can do. So, like, let me showcase it for you guys. Okay. <laughs> it's up to you guys. Yeah, it looks like this. And see, he'll do that little power slice if I, like, keep doing the combo. Uh, let me go ahead and, uh, actually need to switch out weapons anyway. Oops. Actually, that's fine. Okay. So, I'm still gonna rock with the fire, just because I like that one the best. Or, I like that one the most. Okay. So, remember this, people. Our objective here... Oh, another thing we can do... No, I'm, I'm tripping. We, that was the thing we did last time as well. Um, we did almost trial her little wing thing. Uh, she uses the expression, the wing... I have to wait for the wing to glow or something in order to go back and do the trials. So I did uh, some more of the trials and... Uh, Basically got some more, uh, ooh, got some more ammo. Why are these enemies so ferocious all the time? They're so, uh, desperate to attack me. I'll be glad to take all y'all out. Yeah, shut all that up. I'm tired of these enemies just walking around. Know your place. 
weak or not, I'll still destroy y'all. They'll never come at me. Okay, anyway. I'm so petty. Uh, so we, we, we already completed the trial, so we don't need to complete the trial again. Oh, we can't until uh, the flowers start shining again or whatever. Uh, the reason I'm talking about this to people, I'm trying to think of what to do. Basically, what to do in what order or what's, what comes next. Okay, I thought there was a path up there. Um, after I go give these mirrors to these people. I think after that, I'll probably go back to the other town and see if um, they have the bridge constructed. I might even go over here and see if they have the bridge constructed or if they're working on it or something. Um, and then after that, I'll go into that yellow path and see what's in that yellow path. Okay, uh, let me talk to this guy right there. Adolf, all has set out for Windseeker Heights. Okay, that's gotta be my next thing then. Well, Windseeker Heights? Where's that at? If you want to see her, you should probably wait until she gets back. I don't I have think time. even you would have a tough time with the monsters there. Where's that? Where's it located at, sir? Don't ever, don't ever disrespect me like that. I love a challenge. Well, people, you heard it yourself. That's where we're going to next. Uh, Windspur Heights or whatever that is. Who are these people? Were they always here? My elder brother Kuval returned, but he left right away. I don't know who Kuval is. I feel like I should know who that is. I'm happy that he's so trusted. But honestly, it's a little lonely. The three of us used to often play together, you know? I didn't really ask any of that. I kept asking my brother to let me visit the Aresian settlement, but he kept refusing. Okay. Oh, darn it. Okay. So, y'all really don't have any pertinent information for me. Okay, so she's not gonna be in here, right? Because it says she went to the heights or whatever. Yeah, okay, so she, she's gone. Um, I wonder if that little girl's up in here. No, she's not, okay. Well, I guess let's go talk to the chief. I was gonna give her this piece of the mirror, people. That's really what I was gonna come up here to do. Okay. Hey, what's up, bro? Adol, good of you to come. I got another piece of this mirror. We have finally managed to fix the suspension bridge to Kanan. Excellent. Okay, so I can hop on that. This matter was left to Kuval, who has shown brilliant leadership while negotiating with the Aresians. Okay. If something were to happen to me, I have no qualms about entrusting him to lead our people. That might be a little bit of foreshadowing, people. Okay, so that's where we need to go next, people. We gotta go to where the bridge is at. That's basically what they're telling me. Okay, so let's go ahead and make our way over there. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I need to do over here. Let me talk to Kevin real quick, and then I'm on. Kevin! What's good with you, fam? Nah, I don't need to shop with him. Just talk. Well, well. It seems the bridge has been repaired. Yes, sir. So you can get up out of here, Kevin. See, you don't want to be around these people. But to tell you the truth, there really isn't anything I need to do in Remorge. I guess I'll just take it easy over here. <laughs> You're braver than me, Kevin. I'm out of here right now. Keep doing you, bro. I'm out of here. Okay, so the bridge is which way now? I say the bridge is uh, this way. And we just need to go up instead of going down. Okay, now here's the bridge. Yes, sir. The coast road. Oh, wow. It was as simple as that. I thought there was going to be a battle on here. What did that dude say? Where did he say that she went to? He said she went to like the... What did that man say? Hold on, I need to go back. Well, let me check out this village right quick and see if they have any, any updates. I thought that was, uh, where she was where he was talking about. He said the wind, the wind something, the wind... I gotta start paying more attention. 
ate all. <laughs> Why were you stuck right there? Okay. Um, let me just go talk to Raba right quick. He's really the only one in this town I'm really concerned with. I might talk to uh, the dude up in here, the trader or whatever. A bevy of hard-shelled beasts infests a cavern on the Canaan Plains. The Canaan Plains. Hard-shelled beasts. Okay. However, their weakness can be exploited with a certain bell. We did once have possession of it. Where is it now? However, when we lent it to Professor Raba, his young apprentice was careless and lost track of it. Of course he did. What are we to do? We simply cannot hope to set foot in the cavern without first procuring that bell. The cavern? What are y'all talking about? Okay. Um, I'm sure that'll become relevant later. Oh, by the way, you came through that infested underground path, right? I most certainly did. You're quite a swordsman. Would you mind doing me a favor by looking for a way to Zemeth Island? It's a tiny island to the west of here. I mean, I guess, sure. The Redda call it the Sanctum. It's supposedly full of ancient ruins. Uh, sounds like where our final boss battle was going to be, if I've ever heard of it. The ocean currents are too fast, so no one's ever actually landed there. Okay, Zimith Island. Still, I think that island's the key to solving the mystery of the Great Vortex. It all tells Boslem about reaching Zimith Island from the ruins of Amnesia. The ruins? <laughs> what, what did you say? I see. You say there was a statue and a shining pillar in the ruins of Zemeth Island? Oh, that was Zemeth Island, where we talked to the, uh, or where the goddess talked to us. I think I'll talk this over with Professor Raba. I heard you were an adventurer, but my expectations weren't this high. So that underground path was really taking me to Zemeth well, Island. as promised, I'll lend you this. A talisman. This talisman represents Sea God Gratios, who protects my homeland of Altago. Okay, get to the point. Why is this relevant? What does it do for me? So you're not going to talk anymore? Okay. It's truly a valuable treasure. You can now move around and breathe underwater. Ooh. I think I know just where I need to use that. I'll bet you'll be able to reach a few places that you couldn't before. See, I'm already... You already know it. However, remember this. I'm only lending it to you. <laughs> Boy, I'll hang on to this as long as I need it. Okay, which means we, we don't have a lot of time, so I better hurry up. Okay. This man said, I'm only lending it to you. <laughs> I use this as long as I see fit. Sir. Come and take it from me. Okay, so now we can go underwater, people. That's going to be valuable when we go to, um, back at the, I, you know what, I'm just stop talking about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll show y'all what I, what, I, what I mean. Oh, what's, what's her name? <sighs> what's up? Ada. What are you doing over here? Mister, you're back. <laughs> Surprised to see Isha here? I, yeah. She said she tagged along with Kubal on his errand. You know, the bridge has finally been fixed. Yeah, I saw that. That's how I got over here. I've always wanted to see the town, at least once. So I thought this would be the perfect chance for me to tell Ur about the festival. The festival? <laughs> you can make all the excuses you want. But I know the real reason you came here was to see him, wasn't it? How did she know I was going to be here? <laughs> Boy, you sure have changed. Back when we were little, all you did was follow Olha around. And now look at you, coming all the way here just to see him. Can y'all get to the point and start talking about something relevant? Well, what are you talking about? Err, uh, you can be so rude, you know that? Err? Uh, <laughs> you should know better than to tease her. Oh, good grief. You'll never learn to grow up at this rate. Uh, Perhaps we should have a little talk with Chief Ord. No, no, anything but that. Oh, that man said he's telling. If Dad found out, he'd kill me. Oh, yeah, I promised to hang out with Peace. Later, mister. Make yourself at home. Okay, can we talk more about the situation that's going on here? It seems your desire for adventure is stronger than ever. 
If you have any questions, I will be glad to share my knowledge with you. I do have some questions, as a matter of fact. About Zenith, about fairies, about geese. Okay, geese is the dude that, um, that attacked, or not attacked us, but who fought us the first time and we lost to him. And then he's who we encountered last episode, people. Um... So let me ask about Zemeth and Geese. That's really the only two things I care about. Goodness. Are you saying that you landed on that island? Yeah, I was definitely over there. Due to the swift currents, I was never able to investigate that area. Please, Adol, tell me all the details. I mean, there's nothing really to tell. It was just a statue. Yep. Indeed. That must have been inspired by the image of Ulm, whom the Redo worship. Okay. But the statue of a woman with wings? It somehow reminds me of the statues lining the temple in Asteria. Oh, this is bringing it back to uh, Waz 1 and 2 Chronicles. In fact, I have seen such statues in the land of Selseta as well. Okay. Could it that they're related in some way? You tell me. That's what I'm asking. Okay. I have seen that young man once before. I thought he lives here. He dressed like a mercenary, but he seemed quite sharp. When I told him of my findings, he appeared very interested. Okay. Speaking of which, that young man, he possessed something like Talisman. Uh -huh. He may be able to use magic. Okay, that's pretty much all I need to know. That girl has come all this way for a visit. Why don't you stay here a bit? You deserve a little rest. Yeah, there's no time for that. I might talk the to her right quick. Town. It's so different from what I'd imagined. All the homes are made of stone. Well, except for the Ovs and the Professors. Gee, I don't know how Ur can stand it. What about you? Which do you like better? Which do I like better? What did she ask me? Uh... <sighs> Which village do I like more? Here or Port Remorge? I'm sorry, I can't mess with your people. I, I'll take right on... I can't even remember which is which. I think this is uh, where we are right now. Yeah, I prefer it here. I don't like your people. I thought you would. Well, me too. I learned to like this place also. So yeah, most definitely. I did not mess with your people, Isha. I'm gonna keep it 100. I cannot tell a lie. Who was that? Abraham Lincoln? I cannot tell a lie. <laughs> I'm gonna sound so dumb if that's not uh, Abraham Lincoln stated at that. Um, so, people, let's now go back, now that we got this little water thing, or water talisman, do I have to equip it, or does it just work automatically? Can breathe underwater. Okay, so I think it just works for me. We need to go back to, uh, Red On Village. Right now, let's see what this shore is talking. Now that we can travel under the water. How do I get in here? It looks like there's a path under the water, but it's too deep for Adol to enter. Suddenly, the Gradius Talisman that Adol received. Yep. yep. Yeah, we have been here. What do we have here? Capla water. What is that? Equip item. No, it's not an equip item. Hold on, let me see. Oh, it's one of these. It looks sure that we're covered all HP. Ooh. Definitely gonna use that probably for like the uh, final boss. Um, really cool, good to know. 
Okay, now there's one other place we need to go use that water, people. Or use this ability. In fact, you guys won't have to see all this uh, me traveling around. Um, I'll pick it. I'll pick the video back up when we get to uh, the other area where I can go under the water. And I couldn't find. I checked all the areas where there was water located. I couldn't find another underwater path, so I believe that was the that first path that I found that was underwater over by the shore. That was the one and only one thus far. Um, so we're just gonna continue on and uh, go open that yellow door. So let's go ahead and go do that. We'll go a little bit in there, and then I think that'll be a decent enough part for this video. Ooh. Okay, y'all need to relax. I need to relax. I come in peace. I come in peace. Actually, I kind of want to see my uh, super with the yellow. So let me use that, actually, on these clowns. Put them all to group together. Where the rest of that? Yeah, y'all keep coming. I need all y'all together. There you go. There you go. Line them up. And lay them down. Uh, I mean, I guess that was kind of cool. That was kind of alright. Okay. Let's do it, people. We're in here. Yep, open that up. Okay, let me see what lies within. Oh, two treasures, hey. Okay, a red tabulus, not really sure what that is. Rainbow fragment. Uh, let me see. So I know we already have one of those. See, okay, yeah, we have one of those there, people. We have the... We previously had the blue tabulous. I don't know what you use these things for. Whenever I try to click it, it just says letters are incomprehensible. Okay, now this is the red one. Okay. So I'm guessing there's going to be a yellow one as well, or a lightning one. Um, and then what was that other thing we got? This thing. Prismatic emerald crystal shines brightly in the dark, reveals hidden true forms. So I know exactly what we need to use this for, people. This is how we're going to progress through that, uh, or how we're going to traverse through that, uh, that cave. Yeah, I think we got everything now that we need to go traverse through that cave. So let me go and save the game. Uh, and we'll pick it up when we get back over to, uh, that cave area. In fact, you know what? I'll just save right here for the sake of time. And then we pick up, that's where we'll, uh, that's our next destination. And now we can see our partners here. Okay, this is going to work excellently for us. Okay. Well, people, there you have it. <laughs> Once again, thank you guys for watching. As always, people, be sure to like this video if you guys did enjoy it. Comment down below with your thoughts, tips, any suggestions you guys have for me as I continue to navigate through. <laughs> I have to sip off some water. Uh, next time when we come back, people, we are going to be heading to those um, dark caves now that we have light, um, and we've also got that thing that lets us defeat hard-shelled monsters or creatures, I think those are the two things we need in order to progress through that cave. So that's what we're going to be on next time, people. And hopefully finding our way to uh, Windshield, the Windshield Mountains or the Windshield Alps or wh wherever uh, Ohai is. Um, yeah, to find out what's going on with her. But all that in the next one. Lastly, if you guys are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, you already know what to do, people. At this point, <laughs> it's self-explanatory. It's 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 a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you know it, you uh, 
initiated. And by that, I mean hit the subscribe button. Okay, what am I talking about? If nothing else, I will see you guys next time.